my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. As is usual at this time of year, I will stop looking at my daily charts and instead concentrate on the longer term view using my monthly, even yearly charts to com commentate on a market. If you would like to discuss any of these, I'll only be happy to hear, only too happy to hear from you. So let me now introduce today's longer term chart. Today I'll be looking longer term at Paris Rapeseed. The break in July 2022 below the second more acute February 2021 to July 2022 bull channel set off a chain of events that we are still seeing the effects of today. The move lower in mid-2022 hesitated for a few months, prompted I suspect by the big 50% Fibonacci line of the 2014 to 2022 move at 596 before finally heading lower in January 2023 for monthly key reversal down. This was the final nail in the coffin of the suburb and rare annual key reversal up made in 2020. Now going back to this broken and acute bull channel, last year I laid out some potential targets below for such a move down and I quote, this leads to the question as to what may be the possible targets below should this decline continue. The well, primary target below would be in the 482 and 3 quarter zone, whilst a harder, much harder to reach target X1 would be in the 398 even zone. At this moment, I find both these those hard to justify, as they are both below the 2020 uptrend, that's currently at 590 and a half, and highlighted in bright red on my monthly chart, as well as the three year moving average, that's currently at 568. The target X will also soon be below the five year moving average. That's currently at 494, which is rising rapidly. I've put these targets out there, but I suspect we may see a new pattern and forces emerge by this time next year. End of quote. As you can see, I was cautious in my commentary, but in hindsight, I needn't have bothered. As prices broke down through the three year moving average in January 2023, the 2020 uptrend in February and reached target X at 482 and three quarters as well as breaking below the five year moving average in the same month. By May of last year, the market had reached target X1 down at 398. So overall, a well executed move lower. Since May, we've seen a pull back up, but only up to the 38.2% Fibonacci line, the big 2014 to 2022 move at 526 and a quarter, before heading back down. Indeed, one can say since last May, the market has been diminishing its amplitude of movement. Primarily around, primarily around the 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 445 and a half. I would also add the multi-year congestion we have seen over 2013 to 2020 between roughly 340 to 390 has been a core factor in halting further declines and is a pretty good support. No new immediate pattern here draws my gaze, not yet, but I would pay special attention below to the 2020 today uptrend, currently at 396 and three quarters. The 2014 today uptrend currently 360 and three quarters, and the longer term 2005, yeah, 2005 today uptrend currently at 273 and three quarters. Meanwhile, overhead, just keep an eye on the moving averages. As the slow their ascent, as they slow their ascent higher or turn lower, especially the five year moving average. Thank you for watching and listening. This annual broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final bit.